Hello everyone, my name is Bruce. Thank you for tuning into the Studio Yorktown video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use proportions and ratios to create um, simple, harmonious compositions. So let's jump right in here. I've created a pack, which is a free download. The link should be displaying in the video on the screen now. And um, it's a library which you can load into your uh, Adobe Creative Cloud and um, basically you can just uh, drag and drop different types of ratios and uh, guides directly onto your uh, design work. Let's have a quick look here at the golden ratio which is a ratio that occurs very often in nature. So the orange area would have a value of 1 and the area in black would be 1.618 times the area in uh, orange. The Yamato ratio is a Japanese ratio, sometimes called the silver ratio, and that has a value of 1 to 1.414. And um, you'll find this in things like uh, Japanese paper types, paper sizes, um, and Japanese architecture and so on. Let's have a look at the golden ratio. As I was mentioning before, it's quite prevalent in, um, in nature. Let's have a look. This is an image of the human arm. Here's the uh, proportions library. I'm going to drag the golden ratio across. I'm just going to turn it around so that the orange side is on the left. And I'm going to click and drag it from the tips of the fingers to roughly the elbow joint. So if, as we can see here, if I just uh, make this a bit less opaque, you can see here that the tip of the hand down to like roughly the joint of the, where the hand meets this uh, meets the arm uh, is one is one unit and the unit in black is 1.618 um, from the elbow joint to the base of the hand. Let's do a copy of this. I'm going to turn this one around and um, I'm going to drag this from. Uh, the tip of the finger all the way over to roughly where the shoulder meets here somewhere here so if we drag some guidelines just to, to see see that very very roughly where the uh, elbow joint is um, across over to the shoulder is very roughly about um, the same proportion as from the hand to the elbow joint. So what we can see is here in nature we've got a hierarchical proportion system and just to verify let's copy this one more time. I'm going to shrink this from the base of the hand uh, to the tips of the fingers roughly and uh, if we have a look at that we'll see that roughly where the fingers meet um, the sort of pop out from the top of the palm uh, we've got the one unit and then the 1.618 so if we arrange these um, like this we can see like there is some kind of uh, system at play underneath it which is for me is amazing so how can we take this and apply this to our designs well let's let's try um, on something practical mock-up uh, this is the Ongaku CD template. I'm going to load in the inlay image. Let's get rid of the logo and I'm going to try and show you a practical example of this. So I'm going to drag over the golden ratio. I'm going to turn it this way and drag it from the top of the screen to the bottom. And I'm just going to um, let me change the color of this so that it's a bit more visible. I'm going to drag a guideline to roughly where the orange is. This is really, really rough just so I can show you the um, a concept. So let's fill maybe this lower field here. Um, I'm just going to make a marquee tool, add a solid color in there. Let's try uh, for one of these. Um, let's try a nice green and then here I'll try maybe gray something like that and I'm going to delete the proportion now if we have a look at that we can see that we have a nice uh, balance between 
one area of the screen to another part of the screen so a practical example of this i'm going to load the proportions again let's um let me drag um the proportions this time from left over to the right hand side now let's say i've got a logo and i want to place the logo onto the screen or somewhere in my design but i'm not sure exactly what size it should be i mean sometimes the difficult part about design is that you have so many options but we have two different options that we could do here like using the um golden ratio we could have we could make the logo run from maybe one side of one part of the ratio to another or we could try it at this size like that so if we try um, one or the other let's try this let's try centering it roughly in this field here then we have like a nice harmonious composition we could try it with a slightly smaller one in uh, around here somewhere and again we've got like a nice balanced composition because the size of the logo is related to the size of this field which is related to the size of this field so then you can create a hierarchy inside your designs where everything is kind of related in some way if I move this to the center of the screen and I get rid of the, the green field um, then it's very minimalistic but this has a relationship in terms of like a natural subconscious relationship because this is based on the golden ratio so that's one way to do um, to, to, to use the the tool let's try uh, using the Yamato ratio which is popular um, well not popular but it's it's quite prevalent in Japanese designs let's try something like this so let's um, let's make a field somewhere around here and this doesn't have to be you know um, it doesn't have to be at the bottom it doesn't have to have one field in one place and be another directly on top you can use this for things like if you want to make a CD belt or something like that or you just want something that in some way relates to the rest of the design you can use this to help balance your composition so you could have this uh, vertically as well something like that and then we can place the logo somewhere in the middle of this field here on the right very roughly and then we have uh, we have some kind of balance some kind of composition that's going on under there there is another golden ratio grid which is included in the download this one here and these are all uh, in relation to one another all of these lines so I could use these lines for example as uh, places to position the logo maybe instead of having it in the center I could have it on the top somewhere there in order to create some kind of visual tension so if I delete this and I switch this off and we have it's not quite placed in the center but it's just off center but somehow the relationship uh, gives it a kind of balance and a kind of tension uh, which is you know helps to create uh, an interesting composition let's try uh, with this logo I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this all the way over to the full width I'm gonna switch this logo off and then selecting this logo you can press Control and T or command and T if you go up here to the uh, dimensions panel you'll see like a, a kind of link in between if you click on that that means that any changes I make to the size will uh, be proportional from both the width and the height now something you can do is if you press uh, backslash uh, that's to divide if you use the star key that multiplies but this time I'm going to divide so I'm going to press backslash uh, 1.618 and that's going to divide it exactly um, in the size of using the golden ratio so if I want to have something 
and I want to have like a decent kind of relationship to the rest of the screen, then I divide it by 1.618. I can do that again until I'm happy with the size. And even though this is not a perfect system, it's not a hard and fast rule or anything like that, but it helps me to very quickly make decisions about the sizes of things and the, the layouts of elements and, and, and so on and so forth. So um, that is, uh, in a nutshell, my um, quick tip for using ratios. Try it out, see how it works for you. I bring this here. I think this needs to be a little bit smaller. 1.618 again. Maybe I'll have this over in the corner somewhere. Let's try turning this to the side. Maybe the other side. I think I want to align it across one of these lines here just so there's some tension. Switch that off, take it off, and then invert this, and close that. And it's a very simple, minimal um, composition, but it feels like it has a good position in relation to the rest of the, the area. Let's try it again in the book. This is the Hombako book template. Let's uh, go into, let's try snakeskin, a snakeskin texture. Let's change the color to something like black. And um, let me go into the proportions. I'm going to drag the Yamato proportion here. And I'm going to go from the top of the book to roughly the bottom of the book it's here. And what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a mask on the, the texture. And I'm going to drag from the bottom to roughly the top of that first zone there. And um, if I invert on the mask, then we have a very nice kind of uh, two-tone effect but there is a relationship in the size of this zone at the bottom compared to the size of the top now uh, let me put on um, some kind of uh, logo or something in the middle so I'm gonna go into the cover materials design printing um, let's go into the metallic foil go into here so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in the proportion. This is the Yamato ratio I'm using, just so I have a guideline. I'm going to create um, a line here. And then I'm going to go into the uh, get the, te the, the logo, drag that across like so. And this time I'm going to transform it. I'm going to do divided by 1.414. Make sure this uh, link is checked. And then I'm going to divide it again. So, whatever percent that is by 1.414, enter again. And I still think that's a bit big. So, I'm going to do that one more time. Divide it by 1.414. Okay. And then I'm going to move that to the center of this field at the top here. So because this is a smart object, which is going to help me make a metallic object, I'll just click and save. But this area is going to be related to that area at the bottom. So I click on that, zoom in, and now we have a very cool kind of uh, logo printed in the middle of the field at a size which is related to this field. And that field is related to that field. So everything has a connection, it has a reason, it has a kind of purpose for being there. It's not arbitrary and everything is related to each other. And when you can create things that have some kind of um, link between each other, all of the elements, even though uh, 
you know, it's not always apparent. You do get visual harmony that way in relation to one another. So that's the um, that's a very basic <laughs> uh, look at um, ratios and proportions. As I mentioned before, the proportion uh, library is free to download from the link which should be displaying on the screen now. Try it out. Let me know how it works out for you. If you have any questions or um, you have any work to show, please do send it across and hope to check in with you in the next video. Bye-bye.